Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvriLR32 here, and destroy the ever-living ban list boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. So, no, I'm not trying to clickbait you saying that the ban list is in danger, blah, 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 blah. Don't get mad in the comments. Hear me out on what I have to say first. Um, this is something that I've done on the channel in the past. If you remember, like, I think last format when we were trying to figure out when the ban list would drop or the format before we got this, what some people are calling, in air quotes, an emergency ban list. And I like to try and figure out when it is that the ban is going to drop so that we can kind of figure out when the format's going to change, especially since we're in just a toxic tier zero format. I'm tired of seeing tier element and all this other garbage. And so what I ended up doing, partially because I was bored, but also more because of the fact I just want to know when this damn list is going to get revealed, I ended up taking all of the ban list reveal dates, not when they went into effect, the day that they were revealed from 2022, starting with November 21st, the latest list, all the way down to about 2018, I believe is what this September 14th date is. We'll talk about this February 2nd one in a moment. And what I did was that I went through and I analyzed uh, every single day that the ban list was revealed within the last four years to try and gauge what day of the week that Konami could potentially drop this ban list. Now, this isn't obviously going to be super concrete because it's the past four years. At the same time, the past four years is a lot of time, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is multiple ban lists that we've had. And so I thought that it would be good to go through and kind of determine when we can see this list because, you know, Konami, at least now, they seem to be communicating with us in like blog posts, hey, these are the reasons why we hit these cards and what our mindset was. And that's amazing. I love that Konami's doing that. But now, of course, they're not going to tell us when another ban list is going to drop. They're just going to say in a few months. And then like with this last list, like two months after the format started, because tier was tier zero, they gave us a bit of a, I guess, an emergency ban list. So starting with 2022, going all the way down to 2018, you see that it was Monday, Monday, a random Tuesday, May 17th, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Saturday, Friday. They like to reveal ban lists on Mondays, ladies and gentlemen. So what I ended up figuring is that basically between Friday and Monday, never a Sunday, in the past four years of these ban lists, they have never revealed a ban list on a Sunday. They've always revealed it, and then a little bit later, it goes into effect. Now, I say a little bit later, but also with an asterisk, on the February 2nd, 2018 ban list, February 2nd, 2018 was the day it was revealed and went into effect that same day. Other than that outlier, all of these ban lists have been revealed on a separate day and gone into effect later. For example, on our previous February ban list in 2022, it was revealed January 27th, 2022, did not go into effect until February 7th. So then I was looking at the calendar here, trying to figure out when we could see this list. And the last time that Konami revealed ban lists in January was January 26th, and then they did the 17th, and then the 27th. So they like to reveal ban lists, at least in January, like in the middle or near the end of the month. And the problem with this upcoming ban list is that the longer Konami waits, the more issues that they're going to run into. Um, as you saw here in the past four years, they've never dropped a ban list on a Wednesday. So they're most likely not going to drop this new ban list on the 25th. They're not going to drop it on a Sunday either. So that eliminates the 25th and the 29th. Now, in the Darkwing Blast, aka Darkwing Boo Boo Stain uh, regional season, there is one regional left in that um, uh, booster set season, and that's February 4th. That's the last regional for the Darkwing Blast season before we go into Photon Hypernova, which starts February 11th. So now you're kind of looking at the calendar and you're kind of crapping your pants like, oh my god, like they're running out of time to drop this ban list. Because if they drop it on the 25th, like, okay, cool. Like, you could argue that between the 25th, because they didn't drop it today, you know, it's past 9 a.m. And it seems that they consistently update their website, at least on the American side, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every time that they update the list. So between the 25th to 28th, it's going to be safe to say that they're going to drop the balance at some point. Maybe not Wednesday, maybe more the 26th, 27th, 28th, since they haven't dropped one on a Wednesday in the past four years. But regardless, I mean, anywhere between now and the 28th, they could drop it. The 29th, they most likely won't because they've never dropped it on a Sunday. And the 30th and 31st, they have dropped balance on Mondays and Tuesdays in the past. But the problem is, is to me, why would you wait until the 30th or the 31st to drop a ban list? when February is just right around the corner at that point. If you want people to be excited for Photon Hypernova, which drops, you, you have the pre-release season. It's usually like uh, the pre-release at OTS stores is like usually like a week prior. So we could say like February 3rd, right? Just 
I'm pulling a number out of my ass. I think it's the end of January, but you know, just saying as an example, week prior, then it's February 3rd. So if you don't drop the ban list by the end of January, you roll on into February, you have this last regional for the Darkwing Blast season, February 4th, then you have the Team YCS in Mexico, February 11th and 12th, and Photon Hypernova becomes legal for play on the 10th, and it goes out to the OTS stores on like the 8th, which it doesn't become legal for actual play until the 10th. It's just the OTS stores get the packs like one or, or get the product like one to two days early. So if they don't reveal the ban list between like the 25th and for whatever reason, if they decide to wait till the end of January, which just doesn't make any sense, I don't see them doing that, then they end up, uh, what, what's the term, scissor pinning, scissoring themselves, basically catching themselves into a corner where if they if we roll into February 1st with this current ban list, then Konami Maze is just basically telling us, look, you're stuck with this fucking shitty format until the end of February because you know it's it's 28 days and then you roll into March. We get Maze of Memories on like the 10th and then the format just kind of goes off from there. We get Cyberstorm access uh, three months after Photon Hypernova. So it just doesn't make sense to me that they would look at this format and say, you know what, it's still a toxic tier zero format. Tier element is pretty much winning everything at this point. We're not going to drop a ban list until after February. Because if you remember, we were just in, before this emergency ban list dropped, we were in like a four month long format, uh, like almost five. And so uh, we weren't in a tier zero format then. So it was kind of justified. It was long in the tooth, but it was still kind of justified because Power of the Elements came out, Power Creep took effect. We had tier element and Sprite starting to win stuff. So they didn't drop a list. They wanted to let the Power Creep take hold, you know, whatever. But we're not in that kind of situation. We're in a tier zero format. And if they don't drop this list within January, you know, you roll on into February and you get caught in a bottleneck to where the Team YCS happens, the regional season for Photon Hypernova kicks off, and then, like, what are you going to do? You're going to drop a, uh, a ban list on, like, a Wednesday and then have it go into effect that same day when there's, uh, I almost said ban list, when there's regionals that upcoming weekend? Like, it, 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 it puts the player base in a bind to where they don't have enough time to prepare for, you know, regionals or events or what have you, which can hurt their attendance numbers for regionals and YCSs and stuff like that because people are going to feel jaded, you know. They have to drop it, I would argue, in in January because, again, with the YCS coming up, they want to give people time to prepare. Even if they don't plan on the ban list going into effect until the 7th, it still doesn't make sense to wait until the 30th or 31st because then you're giving people 7 to 8 days to prepare. You might as well drop it between the 25th and the 28th to give people, assuming it goes into effect on the 7th, to give people time, not only will they you know, still want to go to this regional on the 4th and uh, I think it was Virginia, but then they can also say, okay, cool, I can go to this regional, I can sell my stuff, I've got basically two weeks to trade for cards that I need for this new format, and you know, I'll go to the pre-release event. And if you drop it before like February starts, then that all the more will incentivize people to go to their OTS stores for the pre-release event, or I think it's called premieres now, for Photon Hypernova and get cards that they need for the new format. So guys, this is just some research that I've done. Hopefully this helps the community just as a whole. Um, you know, it, this is the type of content like I enjoy making because, you know, people will talk about their balance predictions and stuff, but never really talk about when we can expect to see it. And if Konami is not going to communicate with us effectively on when we can see it other than a few months, then, you know, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and do the work myself. And again, I, I'm not saying that Konami has to drop it within this four day time span of the 25th to 28th, but they're going to be shooting themselves in the dick if they don't, because then if we roll into February still with this list, they basically can't drop a list because it's just going to screw all of the events up that people are trying to prepare for, especially if it goes into effect like that same day or the weekend after. Like it just, it, it would throw a monkey wrench into everything. And then, like I said, from that point on, we're basically in going to be like a four month long format where we're just going to roll into March with the same format. And Konami could do that, but like we already know what the end result is going to be. It's going to be a, a tier element format with maybe some cash tier builds thrown in. And it's just gonna be a horrible tier zero format. There will be a little variation because of cash tier, but not enough to incentivize not dropping a ban list. So <sighs> Konami, you gotta give us a damn ban list. You're running out of time. Like the ban list is genuinely in danger if they do not drop it within the next few days. So guys, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you 
in the next video.